And speaking of cool, an important focus point on your new engine is the oil cooler, hoses, and lines. If your engine is equipped with a remote oil cooler that hasn't been reconditioned during the overhaul, be sure to flush it out or replace it. This is critical if you had mechanical problems with the previous engine that could have left metal in the system. However, flushing alone may not get all the metal out. These metal particles could damage your new engine. One complete time between overhaul or TBO cycle is the normal life of many oil system hoses, so replace those as well. Remember that the oil cooler system must maintain oil temperatures within the specified limits shown in the applicable Textron Lycoming Operator's Manual. This is also a good time to check the air cleaner and associated hoses. If there are breaks or cracks, this can allow dirt to be sucked up into the engine, which greatly increases the wear rate. So what have we learned? New or reconditioned engines will perform better over a longer period of time with just a little help. Calibrate your instrumentation. Check the baffles and replace the seals if necessary. Flush out the oil cooler and hoses. And look over your air cleaner system. Replace those hoses if you notice excessive wear or cracks. And remember to consult the latest revision of the manufacturer's documents. Service instructions give us recommendations from the manufacturer. Service bulletins detail those points the manufacturer has deemed mandatory. Service letters contain useful supplemental information. And airworthiness directives are mandatory compliance regulations from the Federal Aviation Administration. Follow these guidelines at all points during the initial installation process of your new or rebuilt engine.